Hello everybody, um, and welcome to another video. I said I was probably going to play this, and here, here I am playing it. Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. I love this theme song. Now, just to say, I have played through this game, so, yeah. Uh, I'm now fiddling with stuff. Which one's the subtitles? There you go. New game! Yep. Uh, campaign. Normal. Wow, this takes a lot of setting up. Uh... This one? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay, I think that's everything loaded up. Also, I've got new blinds. So, yeah, I'm just looking at my tablet just to see, and everything looks good. We got uh, Sir Francis Drake's ring. All men dream, but not equally. There we go. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, Wake in the day to find that it was vanity. Welcome to London. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men. For they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Just wondering, where is this going to be? I'm wondering, um, I know the story, so maybe that's where we end up in a bit. Don't know if it be in this episode. This is probably my favorite intro to all the Uncharted, from all the Uncharted games. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. We're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot. Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Cutter. This part is probably really slow. Um, yeah. It's all there. Now let's see it. Yeah. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Yeah. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a three-dollar bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, mate. Let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can, do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, 
well now. That's ironic. Just, I think Nate's about 37 in this game. Unlike in Uncharted 4 where he was 40. This one's mine! If James Bond was like this, right. Time to rest. Where'd he go? Hello. Okay, I must admit, that went pretty well. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Hello. Yep. Just say, hit him across the face with the stool, you actually do need to press square. Or... B? Hello? Get him! Okay. This camera view. Okay, how many hits did Nate take in that fight uh, okay in that weren't... Hurt? Just my pride. Come on. Let's go, Nate. Yeah. Oh no, I missed a line. Oh god. Hang on, there's a bit of treasure back here. You look like shit. Ugh. And smell like it. Let's go. Stop him! I've got the old geezer! <laughs> Yeah. That would have hurt. Let's go. Yep. And we're out. Oops. Nine minutes. Oh, damn it. Hello. I must admit, Nate was definitely a better fighter in all the other games. Uncharted 4, he lost a bit of his fighting ability, such as dodging. He's already got a cut on his face. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the 
gutter with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Well, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death. Or not. No. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, shut up. 11 minutes and they've been shot. Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Don't Marla, take long. We have to get you out of here. Oh, come on. They're a right pair of arseholes. What? Okay, Columbia. I'm just going to say that because I can't say the city. How long ago was this then? I thought it was Columbia. Ah, 20 years ago. So what, Nate's 37 then, so 20 years before that. Yeah. Wait, no, that can't make any sense. Okay, hang on, sorry. Thinking back to a bit that's going to come on later on, probably in the next episode or something, when they were in France. Sully, Sully knew Nate when he was 15. If he's 17 right. now, that doesn't make sense. Oh, okay. I don't know where I... Found it. Right, what we are looking for is... You can barely read any of that. Um, is... Four. Never mind, I don't know where it is. Uh, basically that ring, which I know where it is, so I'm not going to waste too much time because this place is so boring. Maybe upstairs. Yep, that's where I'm going. <sighs> Lots of paintings of ships and Sir Francis Drake. A bell, some teeth. Some sort. Why is this light blue? Okay, this is actually an idea I have that uh, Sam was still here, because this looks a bit like Sam's shirt. You can actually check it. But yeah, it looks like uh, Sam's shirt, which I would say he was 18 in Uncharted 4's flashbacks. So, yeah. I'm trying to pinpoint all the ages of the characters now. Like, um... Yeah. I think... I think Sully's 30, 40 at this point. I can sort of figure stuff out just by looking at them. Look, does he have a full he head of black hair? Or, um, or does he have a few grey hairs? I can't really tell. It might be just the lights. Yeah, so he's either 30 or 40. I think he's probably 40. Because, yeah, Uncharted 3, he's 60. And by Uncharted 4, nearly 70. You can actually see him over there, further down the street. Oh, there he is. 
Let us keep going. This is one of the less interesting chapters of the game. Gotta keep up with him. Especially how he walks everywhere. You can keep up with him, Nate, if you jogged. You know, it's like a faster version of walking. Ah, there he is. I wouldn't eat that. You can see the flies, but maybe not on the camera. Yeah. It was rotten anyway. The light in this game, I will say, is not the greatest um, of all game lighting, especially in France when we start walking through like trees and things like that. Oh God, the lighting. We are, we are actually getting really close to our there because the game glitched. Right. There's a pig's head over there. And through. Yeah. Plant light is really not great. Don't know what that says, but I'll find it eventually. Damn. It's locked. Hmm. Gonna have to find another way up. Oh, Twenty-four hours or something to do with keys. <laughs> right, no, up, up, up. Oh right, up there. And along. What's he doing in there? I need to get a better look. I don't want to rush it now. Move along. Yeah, I got you, Pastor. Just relax. Got a lady with you. Yeah, nice. Here you go. There we go. Aquí lo tiene. Key perfectly well cut out. And in. And close. There we go. Adios, amigo. When you could, but you'd probably get arrested. And over and... Don't mind me. And... It didn't fall. Right, there's another piece of treasure. The camera's at a really awkward angle, because I think I went a little bit faster than the game expects you to go. Another sign promoting the exact same thing. This is the other one further along. Right, just this walk along here. I bet I can spot it from the roof. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. Okay, and now leap. That's a pretty far leap. I can't remember. I watched a video that said how far he can jump. I think it's at the first he jumps from a standstill. I cannot remember what it was. Oh, who's your friend? Yeah, don't mind us. I can't see a thing. Don't lose it. Okay, if I just put my hand in front of the screen, sorry. Right. Wasn't meant to. And we are up. And there's another police officer. Don't want to go down there. So what? It's like Nate wanted by the police or something. Well, let's just keep going. Don't talk to yourself. Okay. Right, okay. Right there in Now's my chance. Become a pickpocket. That was good. Let's try that again. 
Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now, don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, so is some change. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. Your technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. So he's quite good at noticing. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. He's wearing a dog tag. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. I'm doing quite well time wise. This is a slightly shorter chapter now. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? Maybe you assumed you only wanted the money. In which then that wallet was rubbish. It had nothing. I had like a credit card and the key. It's closed. I, I can probably tell that. I've actually looked at how like Uncharted works, like how it, they guide you around without using waypoints. And it's like colours and things of like that. Like for instance, white and yellow. I think mostly through this game, yellow does show up quite a lot. And light, if I could adjust the camera. Um, uh, like that over there. Am I might go in through the door? I think you can go in through the door that way. Um, and yeah, there's light over there. Anyway, let's keep going. Quick heist on a much smaller scale, and boom. and I think you can. Yeah. Okay. So can you enter through here? Yeah. There's a bit of treasure in its hands. Just grabbed that, and it's round here. And now. This is ours. The camera's gone really out of focus. Right. So, yeah. So, it's, I sort of want to play this game because I feel like there are a few connections to Sam. Um, for instance, as I said, the shirt, I feel like, is the same shirt that Sam was wearing in the flashbacks. Um... And from what I know, Sully and um, Sam have have met at least before. Um, but oh. yeah. Damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't yeah. got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, One. The ring. What ring? <laughs> Sinister laugh. Thanks, <laughs> subtitle. Who Subtitles. Far, boy. You're nothing but a filthy, cast off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! Stop the boy! Holy crap. He has the ring! Right, okay, and now up. Break the door down! 
Uh, I'd rather you didn't. Okay, right, keep lagging it. That oh, corner God. always gets me. He's heading for the roof! Well, well done. What other way could he be going? Chains breaking! Hurry! Let's go! Ugh. Shit! Oh, crap. Who the hell are these guys? I can see the shadow of guy chasing us. Yellow. Oh, come on. What the? No, climb. And it's gone. Now, the you press triangle, you can sort of throw stuff in, in the way. We've got it. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Not the right way. Not the right way. Just get rid of him. Like this. Bullets flying. Okay, well, he's gone. Dead end, and Mr. Smith from The Matrix. This time with a red tie. Whoops. You alright? This guy's always really creepy. What are you shaking for? Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. Yeah, this is how they met. But all those years ago. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. A bit really neat, but anyway. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, 
Not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was going to take it from you, I would have done it by now. He has a point, you know. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Magna. Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. He sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age no Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, uh, so like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something. I obtain it for a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, uh, well. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First what? of all, okay. that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. So like James millions Bond. in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That I've big. mentioned James Bond quite a few times actually in this episode. Just the coder has something twice. to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, and well. you do and already. And got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate then. For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is. And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look. You got talent. No kidding. But you got a lot to learn. You stick with me and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Or I hope this is loud yeah, enough. Clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. <laughs> the way Sully was sitting, like with his arm over the side of the, uh, the seat, I must admit, I've done that before, it just kills all the blood to my arm. There you go. Alright, lads? <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sorry. You've got no sense of drama. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. All right. All that racket's going to bring the cops any minute. Get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. All right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Uh, you were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on this good side. All right, Broad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. Now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. You do? Let's get moving. All right, hurry it up, Nate. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> He's pulled the same trick twice what? with the ring. Come on. Really? To be honest, it actually doesn't look that bad. Come on, Charlie, what's the hold up? Yeah, 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 all right, all right. It'll all be over soon, it'll all be over soon, it'll all be over soon, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. 
So claustrophobic. What's wrong with you? Nothing, I'm fine. Okay. That's blocked. Wait, we can get around this way. Yeah, yeah, right. Or we could just use a little muscle. <laughs> oh, there's the thought. And up and over. The wall's too high. Yeah. Let's move this thing over there. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Yeah. Thanks for the help. Come on, move your lazy asses. Where else, guys? All right. Looks like the coast is clear. You should be more careful with your head than that. Evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Ah, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for yeah, my taste. Uh, <laughs> but ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> oh, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, it's funny. Do you have any trouble? Nah, <sighs> easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door's scary poppins out in behind? Behind that one there. The green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. I think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just going to sneak in and we sneak out. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Charlie looks a little bit like Hitman if he grew some hair and put on the tactical gear. Yeah, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase right there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, man. That's a gain. Trust like, me, that's nothing to compared to what Charlie looks like a hip, yeah, hit man well, if he got age, some hair. Oh, I Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. Two let. J Midland. Uh, two zero 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 eight zero feet. Then a phone number. What? I've always wondered why when you actually call these numbers. We're not gonna just barge in the These two are now. both well, giving them by the time standard here. Uh two let by the same person. I'll find a way in, check it out. Okay. You three stay here. Got it. Uh, up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So stealthy. Yeah. Sorry about that. And up. Yeah, this is what I mean. Is this the roof that the intro took place that the intro took place on? It looks similar. Same sort of fan skylight. There's a lot of traffic going on. Pretty normal actually for London. Didn't move. It's so loud. It doesn't take that much. Oh god. Yep. Perfect. Right. Empty? Wait a minute, where did it go? I can see tire tracks. There's some icy treasure. How do I get down there? Hit. Well done, Nate. And over this way. It's brilliant. You can't actually fall from here all the way down there, which is a bit weird. Yeah, come on, grab it. Okay. And down. But you can survive that fall. Yeah, they survive fall up. Further, if not Where the hell did they go? This doesn't make any sense. And up. Give me a hand with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. And in we go. Does anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it. I'm sure this is the right one. Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Mate, we are losing time here. That damn briefcase is looking better and better. I'm 
All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. It's spread out. One thing I'm, I'm wondering, was the money actually fake, or did they make that up? You were here, all right. I can still smell the exhaust. In in this game, you can bend the physics of light. It's shining forwards, but I can shine it over over in any direction I want. Tire tracks. Still wet from the rain. Well done, Sherlock. Looks Let's like the go. car turned here. Yep. No, I can't remember. It's one of these. Yeah, it's this one. Hey, check this out. Look, my point here, you can just shine the light anywhere else from in front of you. Is it this one that he's done? Okay, well, it's this one. Mm, some kind of mechanism. Yeah, maybe. Four tires, four points of contact. Sully, stand right there. You too. Right there and there. Alright, everybody, on three. Ready? One, two, three. And? Well, this has got to be it. Wait. Wait, it's the light. Sully, a aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Well, I think we agree this is more than a little weird. Well, that's a Who the hell drives their car underground? Oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. Smart ass. It looks like they bored straight into the old service tunnels. Yeah, in this game you can't actually put your gun away, you just gotta wait for him to do it. I don't know, is that faster? Hey, over here. It's locked. Not for long. Should be able to squeeze through here. Thank you. Lead on, McDuff. Oh, what? Lay on. It's lay on, McDuff. Uh, can we hurry along, please, mate? All right, back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just not clean on the old tight spaces. That's all. Okay. Uh, just well, keep moving. But nearly here. Oh, thank God for that. Who the hell is McDuff? Eastern and bottom to your ignorance. I see them! Well, that went well. Oh, yeah, nice one, mate. Thanks. Hey, I don't want to waste all my ammo. Good shot. right below us. At least we're still on the right path. Oh god. Ew. Whoa. That is a long way down. Yep. Is it possible to... There we go. Surely there'd be like Careful, it's slippery. How the other guys get down there? They, they drove. Well, they drove down a giant hole. No, they drove continuously down the pathway, which probably opens up to them. But... Uh, also, we can just simply drive in. Anyway, I think that's what happens, at least. Yeah. Oh, it looks like he's just sort of resting against the wall. Okay. I'll even come in. I've done this before. I go up against the door. It does not work. Okay, now he's ready in combat. Okay. Ready? Yep. 
company when you are. They may I'll hear you. Yeah. See them. Oh, Christ, have you forgotten how to shoot? <laughs> it was quicker to jump in and punch. Uh, this way. Right, and up the ladder. Here it comes. Looks like there's some sort of gate up there. Not that way. Gotta go up this way. Yep. And down again. How about you, Cutter? A little help here? Yeah? Sure, I gotcha. And there we go. Oh wait, we can't pull it yet because we've got to wait for Solly to climb up. Hello, and now grab and pull. All right, ready? Pull. Wow, that. Oh god. Okay, Charlie, come on. And up. Yeah, still on the right track, of course. There's the tunnel again. That's too far to drop, though. We'll break our damn necks. Okay. I always do that. It's this way. Down here. Where the hell are we headed now? Uh, this way, I think. <laughs> what in the world? Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know, mate. But whoever they are, they are seriously weird. Um... I think I'm gonna leave that here. Um, you look so out of breath. Pistol. Um. So yeah. So uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.